Thank you, Senator Cornyn. Welcome. Glad to have you. At your confirmation, we discussed the, uh, em the numbers of employees at CBP at the Savannah Port of Savannah. Since that time, we passed the uh, Border Jobs for Veterans Act of 2015, or since that time. Have you utilized any of the programs in the, the 2015 Act to expand employment at Savannah or any other port in the country? We, we've made use of, of every authority that Congress has given us in terms of streamlining and enhancing our hiring. About 30 percent of our workforce are veterans. Uh, we've done outreach to a DOD across multiple uh, major bases where we have significant, significant numbers of transitioning members so that we can onboard them more efficiently. We can treat their outgoing medical exam as our inbound medical exam, for instance. And our hiring of veterans ha has increased. Uh, and Savannah is no exception. Uh, my, my head of trade relations is in Savannah today, uh, meeting with uh, Port Authority leadership, uh, as well as our Office of Trade Executive Director, uh, talking about how we can keep up with the growth there in Savannah, uh, post the, with the additional dredging and the, the depth of the channel that you have there. It, it's a critical port and partnership for us. We've got about 800,000 veterans in the state, retirees. We have a number of bases in the state, many of them close to the Port of Savannah. You probably don't have a better potential qualified candidate for employment for your responsibilities than your veteran who's come back from the training and service through the country. So I'm glad you're utilizing that. I hope you'll continue to. In any way we can, as chairman of the Veterans Committee in the Senate, any way we can be of help to you to promote your operation as a place for veterans to come and look, we'll be sure and do that. And if you ever get in touch with our staff and, we, and tell them any information you'd like for us to do, we'll disseminate that information very readily. Second, on the Port of Savannah, <clears throat> We're very proud of that port. It's the largest bulk port on the East Coast of the United States and profitable. It's being expanded thanks to the graciousness of members of the Senate and the House and the President of the United States, the last three Presidents of the United States. We're going to get to 47 feet within about three to four years. It's going to be bringing in the new, uh, what do they call, CMAX, or, um, CMAX ships coming in, which carry 14,000 containers per for boat, to give you a little comparison, the boats they get now is 9,000, so it's about a 30 percent increase in throughput. My question is this. We have the Elba Island uh, li liquefied natural gas port there. We have a tremendous number of uh, tons of materials coming in there. We have lots of ships from all around the world coming in there. I'm always concerned about the security and how well we're enforcing the security vis-a-vis -vis the potential of a terrorist attack. We've been lucky we have not had one and hope we never do have one, but one of the reasons you don't ever have one is the preparation you do to prepare yourself to plan for them. Could, could you tell me for a minute in terms of that port that how you feel about our security in its current form and do you see any additional needs that we need to provide for you to be sure it's as secure as possible? Sure, Senator. So on our security, it's a collaboration with the U.S. Coast Guard. Uh, they're the lead for port security, as you know. Uh, Commandant Schultz, uh, former Atlantic Area Commander, has a very good handle on uh, the port security issues in Savannah and really all over the eastern seaboard and around the country. Uh, for, for CBP, we, we partner directly with the Coast Guard, both at the national level and in the field. Uh, Coast Guard has their targeting unit sitting with us at our national targeting center. So we're looking at the same data collected under Coast Guard authority, but then processed and analyzed with CBP systems to provide targets for them uh, to look at, both in terms of any risks presented by the passengers and crew on a vessel, uh, but, but also the cargo on that vessel. So we have an integrated risk assessment process of the people and goods uh, on that vessel that are then uh, conveyed out to our field elements for appropriate action. Uh, the, the, the captain of the port then decides which vessels they need to escort in uh, and provide safety. Uh, CBP helps from an immigration perspective determine which people and crew we might need to hold on board during their stay in the U.S. and make sure they're secured uh, during uh, the time they're in port. Uh, and that's a collaborative process that I think works very well. Um, I, I will definitely uh, circle back with my Coast Guard counterparts to see if there are unmet needs in, in that port security effort in Savannah or elsewhere. Uh, but we feel pretty good about our, our collaboration and our, our, our common operating picture that we have at this point. I don't know it, any, any that didn't prompt the question. What prompted the question, though, however, was to get a little information out to the public. I have people ask me sometimes, how in the world do you protect a port? And I start, tell, I start off by telling about the known shipper program and telling mm -hmm. about the Coast Guard. And it, the Coast Guard at Savannah flies out to the outer marker where the ships that come in that have not filed a known shipper 
report at the point of embarkation when they left to come. That ship is searched three miles out right. with the help of the Coast Guard. The ships that are fully locked up, fully searched, and fully inventoried when they come in, they come in and offload them pretty quickly. So that's motivated. The shippers are motivated to bring in a full, full cargo that's completely itemized, completely reported, and easy to inspect. And so you have a great secure system, and the Coast Guard does a magnificent job. Tremendous. We've seen to it that we get those inspections done. So I wanted that information to get out to every Georgian and really every American because of the value of those ports. Thank you for your service. Thank you.